Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. The T2 class is a rally within the rally. Four-wheel drives broadly divided into two categories of cars here in 2010. Prototypes that we see at the front and the unmodified production car class. This is T2. They've got standard suspension pickup points and really only an uprated ECU and a roll cage as modifications. Nicolas Gibon saying the T2 car is standard with just a few mods for the Dakar. Brakes and the brake pads are all standard. All original. The chassis is standard. We're only allowed to add some pieces to strengthen the chassis as per the regulations. The engine also is standard. Absolutely untouched. The dashboard, all strictly standard. We've only just removed the radio because it gets completely ruined because of the dust. These land cruisers are the true ships of the desert. It's no wonder they're bomb-proof the world over. Toyota continue to take the T2 class very seriously. So seriously, Gibon saying our budget is 2 million euros for two cars, which is huge. It's more money than some T1 cars have to spend. Yun Mitsuhashi is his teammate, formerly a bike rider on the Dakar. He's an hour behind Gibon and battling to be the winner of the class. The pair of them, well, they're 19th and 20th in the overall standing. A massive achievement considering the car is essentially straight out of the showroom. Toyota, it's very impressive for us because we use production cars, so the Land Cruiser we make for people at home is strong, tough, and great PR for Toyota the world over with this Dakar rally. We have to try to win, and we are trying to do that. I've already overtaken some works cars and it's great to think that we are faster than a car that has already been victorious on the Dakar. The Toyota Land Cruiser has become a favourite of many of the privateers who enter the Dakar rally with the production T2 class. However, Nissan are also in the class and also very competitive.